Greer Garson, an enduring figure in classic Hollywood cinema, left an indelible mark through her compelling performances. Whether you recall the first time you encountered her on screen or a specific moment that resonates with you, Garson's talent captivated audiences across generations. Her notable contributions to film, including iconic roles and acclaimed productions, have stood the test of time. As we reflect on her cinematic legacy, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this influential actor. Your stories and recollections are a testament to the lasting impact Greer Garson has had on the world of entertainment. We look forward to hearing your anecdotes in the comments below, celebrating the enduring charm and talent of this classic Hollywood star. Greer Garson, an accomplished English actress, made a mark in Hollywood with her talent and achievements. Notably, she married Richard Ney, who portrayed her son in the film Mrs. Miniver. This marriage followed their collaboration on screen, showcasing the intersection of real and real life. Garson's significance in cinema extends beyond personal ties. She holds the distinction of being the third English actress to secure the Academy Award for Best Actress. Notably, she was the first among her compatriots born in England, setting a precedent distinct from Vivian Lee and Joan Fontaine, who were born in India and Japan, respectively. Collaborating with Walter Pigeon proved to be a recurring theme in Garson's career, as she portrayed his wife in eight films. This on-screen partnership spanned titles like Blossoms in the Dust, Mrs. Miniver, Madame Curie, and more. This enduring collaboration reflects the chemistry and success they shared on screen, Garson's filmography is a testament to her versatility and enduring contributions to cinema. From her early works like Blossoms in the Dust to iconic performances in Mrs. Miniver and Madame Curie, her impact on the silver screen remains indelible. In conclusion, Greer Garson's career was marked by successful collaborations, both on and off screen, contributing to her legacy as a celebrated actress in Hollywood. Her ability to bring characters to life and her on-screen partnerships with notable actors cement her place in cinematic history. In the 1945 MGM All-Star Spectacular Ziegfeld Follies, a skit titled The Great Lady Gives an Interview was intended for Greer Garson as a playful parody of her dramatic image, notably seen in films like Madame Curie. However, she declined the role due to disapproval from her mother, Nina Garson. Judy Garland then took on the satirical impersonation, portraying Madame Cromatin, the inventor of the safety pin. This incident highlighted Garson's commitment to her professional choices, even in the face of comedic opportunities. Garson's impact on Hollywood includes being the 20th actress to receive an Academy Award. Her portrayal in Mrs. Miniver earned her the Best Actress Oscar at the 15th Academy Awards on March 4, 1943. This achievement solidified her place in cinematic history and marked a significant milestone in her illustrious career. Interestingly, in 1982, Garson turned down Aaron Spelling's offer for a role in the hit Soap Dynasty, where she would have played the mother to Joan Collins' Alexis. This decision showcased Garson's selective approach to roles, prioritizing her artistic choices over popular opportunities. These instances offer a glimpse into Greer Garson's career decisions, from turning down satirical skits to choosing roles strategically. Her legacy is not only defined by accolades, but also by her ability to shape her career on her terms, contributing to her enduring influence in the world of cinema. In 1952, Greer Garson took center stage at the Oscar ceremony, not for her own achievement, but to accept the Best Actress Award on behalf of Vivian Lee, who was absent. This gesture highlighted Garson's respect for her fellow actresses and her prominent presence in Hollywood circles. However, her influence extended beyond the glitz of award ceremonies. During her early theater days in London, Greer Garson received tutelage from none other than Laurence Olivier. This mentorship played a crucial role in shaping her skills as an actress and contributed to her later success on the silver screen. Away from the spotlight, Garson demonstrated a lasting commitment to the arts. She generously donated millions to build the Greer Garson Theater at the College of Santa Fe. With specific conditions in mind, including a unique circular stage, the inaugural play choice, and ample facilities, Garson's philanthropy aimed to provide a lasting cultural impact. From gracefully accepting awards on behalf of her peers to refining her craft under Olivier's guidance and leaving a tangible legacy through philanthropy, Greer Garson's influence on the entertainment industry is multifaceted and enduring. In 1937, MGM boss Louis B. 
Mayer recognized Greer Garson's acting prowess on a London stage and promptly signed her up. This marked the beginning of a remarkable career that set her apart in Hollywood. Over the years, Garson earned acclaim for her exceptional talent, garnering five consecutive Academy Award nominations from 1941 to 1945, an unparalleled feat shared only with Betty Davis. However, Garson's journey wasn't without challenges. A devastating fire at her home destroyed the original Oscar she won for Best Actress in Mrs. Miniver. Despite this setback, the Academy of Motion Pictures honored her achievements by sending a replacement, underscoring the enduring recognition of her stellar performances. Beyond the glitz of awards and nominations, Greer Garson's impact on Hollywood extended to her selective approach to roles. Notably, she turned down comedic opportunities and declined an offer to join the hit soap dynasty in 1982. Garson prioritized her artistic choices over popular opportunities, showcasing a commitment to her craft and a strategic approach to her career. Garson's influence reached beyond the silver screen. Mentored by Laurence Olivier during her early theater days in London, she honed her skills, laying the foundation for her later success. This commitment to the arts was further exemplified by her philanthropy, where she generously donated millions to build the Greer Garson Theater at the College of Santa Fe, leaving a tangible legacy for the cultural enrichment of future generations. In summary, Greer Garson's journey from a London stage to Hollywood stardom, her record-breaking Oscar nominations, resilience in the face of setbacks, selective career choices, and lasting contributions to the arts collectively paint a portrait of an iconic actress whose impact remains indelible in the annals of cinematic history. Greer Garson, a notable figure in Hollywood, became a naturalized citizen of the United States during her illustrious career. This transition marked a significant step in her life, reflecting her commitment to the entertainment industry. Beyond her achievements on screen, Garson faced challenges, including a period of malnutrition in 1938 when she embraced a crash diet to conform to Hollywood's slimline figure standards. This episode sheds light on the pressures and expectations imposed on actresses during that era. In her personal life, Garson had a stepchild, Gail Fogelson, adopted by her husband, Buddy E.E. E. Fogelson after his sister's unfortunate demise. This familial connection adds a layer of complexity to Garson's life, showcasing a blend of personal and professional responsibilities. As we delve into the multifaceted journey of Greer Garson, from her citizenship to the challenges she navigated, it becomes evident that her legacy extends beyond the silver screen. Her experiences offer a glimpse into the complexities of Hollywood's golden era where personal and professional spheres often intersected. Stay tuned for more insights into the life of this iconic actress. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the life and artistry of a remarkable performer, let the curtain fall with a moment of introspection. Allow the celluloid echoes of Greer Garson's brilliance to resonate within you. Perhaps you've been enchanted by her grace in pride and prejudice or moved by the poignant nuances of her characters in various classics. Now it's time for you, dear reader, to share your own reel of memories. Reflect on the moments when Greer Garson's on-screen presence wove itself into the fabric of your own experiences. Whether it be the subtle vulnerability she brought to her roles or the indomitable spirit that left an indelible mark on your soul, take a pause and let those memories surface. In this shared space of appreciation, your voice adds a unique note to the symphony of admiration for this cinematic luminary. Feel free to drop a line, a paragraph, or a chapter of your thoughts on the profound impact Greer Garson has had on your cinematic sensibilities. Your reflections become a mosaic of appreciation, capturing the essence of her contribution to the world of entertainment. It's a virtual stage for your sentiments to take center stage. As the curtain descends, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for allowing us to embark on this cinematic voyage with you. Greer Garson's legacy endures in the flickering frames of our shared memories. Thank you for investing your time and sentiment in this celebration of artistry and emotion. Crafted with cinematic affection, 